last time I kind of just showed where to go to get it and if it actually did extra damage compared to just, you know, the other same stupid bow. Okay. So, this time I'm just going to go more into some of the numbers. What's the actual advantage? Because it costs more to use a fire bow and to use fire arrows. And the difference doesn't seem like that much for damage. Cost is way different. Oh, like how much it costs to buy the bolts? No, this is fire arrows. Wow, oh, arrows. The one you can actually aim. Aim the crossbow. Yeah, I, you can. I, I used to be pretty good at it, but I'm sloppy as now. What's the numbers here? 9,200 souls to get a plus five bow, and one green shard, and 200 more souls than that. Set uh, a <laughs> green shard. Yeah, for the get to get a fire bow, just flat fire bow. Oh, that's right. You have to use like special ore or something to do that. Green Titanite Shard. Is that what it is? I haven't Ooh. played Dark Souls in a long time. You are a scrub noob, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so a wood arrow costs three souls per arrow. And the fire arrow is a hundred souls per arrow. Just not the worst cost of something. Like something disposable. Okay. So at uh, 17 dex and 18 strength. The wood arrow with the plus five bow is doing 17 damage. And the fire arrow on the plus five wood bow is doing 23. So, yeah, fire arrows do more. Surprise! Alright, so flat fire bow, the wood arrow does 16, does one less damage than the cheaper stuff. But the fire arrows do 29, which is six extra damage. Is it six a lot though? Well, it doesn't seem like a lot, but every four shots is you're doing an extra arrow of damage compared to the plus five wood bow. So yeah, that sounds like a, a very expensive way to get some extra damage. But, once you start killing stuff and uh, when you get through uh, Snorlax and Pikachu you kind of just like start stacking souls like crazy oh yeah it's easy to farm souls hmm. so if you're going to use fire arrows because otherwise what's the fucking point <laughs> so wait, using fire arrows with a fire bow doesn't really do much more it does a little bit more, but it's more cost effective mm. if you do it. Okay. Every four arrows. What the fuck are you watching? So, yeah, fire arrows aren't. <laughs> it's not the worst investment to make. I've actually had fire arrows help, help me, like, spot an enemy. Spot an enemy? Especially in the Tomb of the Giants. You lay those fuckers on fire. Oh. Uh, yeah. Because you'll, you'll lock onto something and be like, what are creepy eyes doing here? And then you shoot it, and you're like, oh, it's a giant skeleton. He on fire. But also, uh, in the um, Snorlax and Pikachu fight, I've used fire arrows just because. I mean, it's not the worst thing to do to catch the enemy on fire. Looks like I gotta get up and do stuff.
Did I have anything on the other side of this? You suck. Well, that's not helpful. What's that monkey doing? I do like a cat. Yeah. We're friends now. <laughs> okay, this is getting off topic. That it is. Fire arrows is almost a personal preference at this point. Yeah. I never... I don't know if I ever really used a bow. I think I stuck with magic a lot of the time. Comment if you think I'm full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. No one watches this shit. Fuck. making jokes about um what you call it smash brothers because terry got in is going to be in the game from king of fighters mm -hmm. and people are making jokes that like my didn't get in the ninja chick oh yeah i've been seeing a lot of that artwork it's been fantastic i tell you that people can just keep doing that because <laughs> she's hot <laughs> Yes, 